Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I've come back from the Southern Invert Show. What an awesome experience, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, now, I know you're probably excited to see the mountains of pickups. Honestly, I was gifted more than I actually picked up at this show and that wasn't the show's fault there just didn't happen to be the variety I was specifically looking for at the time and I don't believe in just buying animals for the sake of YouTube I don't hoard animals so I go in with an open mind and if there's something I want I get it if there isn't I don't but I did come away with a lot of awesome stuff regardless now I didn't actually fully record the show was a little too heavy the night before celebrating meeting all these old friends again and I felt a little bit rough on the day and you could probably still hear from my voice I was also recovering from a bit of a chest infection so filming was the last thing on my mind but if you want to see how busy this was in comparison to last year I'll pop a little clip up now of me looking out the window up above is he? Mm -hmm. Alright we'll go and find him then I'll ask him where she is so it was pretty busy right and that was actually when it was starting to quieten down it was such a fight to get to each table and may have to up the venue perhaps in future years because it's just going to get busier and busier i also got a few clips of meeting some of the people and giving us a wave on the camera i didn't catch everybody but let's have a quick look at those oh i didn't even come into you there we are you doing <laughs> so yeah, I'm well in. And then on the next clip, you will see me receiving my winning from that pet page. So I won his 100 subscriber giveaway, which was a £10 mystery box or mystery bag in this case. Um, now, I'd already discussed with him what I was going to do with this bag. But here's the clip of me receiving my winning. Oh, thank you very much. Tell him your channel. Go and check it out. On this ten pound mystery box from the giveaway here, this actually is going to go to someone very special. Thank you very much. Now I actually also received a gift from this gentleman, but we'll get on to that in just a moment. Now I did discuss with both the guy from that pet page and Scott from Scott's Inverts, who I actually got a card from and a sticker. Cheers, Scott. Also got a gift from him. We'll go on to that in a moment. That I was actually going to donate this prize to Layla. Now you will see Layla featured in a few of Scott's Inverts videos, so please go and check them out. Links to everyone that I mentioned in this video will be in my description below, so please go and check out each one of these channels and see if it's to your taste. Now I don't know what was in that mystery bag at the time of me recording this, so I'm quite excited to see what she won. So here is a clip of me passing my winning bag to Layla. I actually wanted you on the camera for a reason. So earlier, I was thinking I about getting something. that mug with three truck spines in it. And then, it's just a £10 mystery bag. This is yours now. Oh, Alright, you. Scott knows about it. Okay, I've already told him. So, that's my gift to you. Thank you. Alright, no problem at all. You're very welcome. Oh, that's so cute. Alright? Yeah, thank you. There we go, go. That was pretty cool, right? It's, it's really nice to see young people getting into this hobby and I will do what I can to bring the youngsters up, getting their collections, getting their interest in these animals because it is important. And I think it's vital of the future of our entire planet, to be fair, to have some form of knowledge of these animals. So, without further ado, let's get straight on to the pickups. So first of all, we're gonna talk about non-live pickups. Got my pack of Cocoa fibre bricks, £4 for three, cannot complain there. I've got myself a kilogram of cork bark for £8, that was from Fat Bobs. Didn't get any moss because I was looking for a specific kind rather than the typical sphagnum moss and I couldn't find any so there was no moss out of my list. 
Um, did I get anything else that was non live? Oh, didn't you, did I? Any closures? Oh, yes. And then I also pre ordered some enclosures from the Tarantula Room. I love this guy's enclosures. I've been talking about perhaps next year or the year after, depending, going up and actually visiting him on premises because he uses these himself. He's not just a creator of enclosures that he's just whacked together and gone, I want to make money off. He uses them himself in his own collection. Now, I ended up with four of these. So these are the cubed squares. I think he says they're slightly shorter now. They used to be 22 centimeter cubed. I think he said they might have dropped to 20, um, or at least in height. I will double check it, but it doesn't really matter because it was just the standard size I was after, and he checked that with me first. He's got a cool new design on these. So in the old ones, you used to have to twist the lock. Now, look how easy that is. But it's not gonna fall off. He's actually magnetized these. So there are little magnets in there, and I believe they're under the lip. So unless you're looking through here, they're not even visible from the top. And that's awesome. And then I also got this beauty. Here's a lid just down here. Absolute monster of an enclosure. Now, believe it or not, what's going in here isn't actually anything too exciting, but I'm trying to attempt to make something that some people will find boring into something beautiful. So wait for that video, okay? Now onto the live stuff. I mentioned before that pet page who I won the subscriber giveaway for, he actually gifted me as well. And in this little tub, we got, uh, I don't know if I've pronounced this right, a V Confusus, which is a little scorpion. I know not a lot about, I believe it was a desert kind. But I will do my research on this one to make sure, and it's adorable, absolutely adorable scorpion. Let's just hope I can keep that one alive. Um, more gifts. Can you guess who this one's from? That's right, from Scott's Inverts. He actually gifted me an N Incy. So I believe this is the, the olive form. And it's, it is absolutely adorable. This one is really, really curious. And it's made some beautiful webbing. So, massive thanks to you, Scott, for that one. Truly happy with that. Awesome gift. If you haven't seen my isopod video, I did one on uh, dairy cow isopods, and I said if people want to buy them off me cheap, they can do at the show. Um, there was a gentleman, lovely gentleman, who purchased them off me, and he actually gave me a bit more than I asked for, so a big thank you to you. You didn't have to do that. It was very, very kind of you. And it was lovely to meet you, lovely person. And then also the other one that wanted to buy one off me, who actually has a YouTube channel, which is JB's Invert and Reptiles. I will put a link to his channel also in the description below. He was going to buy some off me and then he messaged saying that he wanted to pass both me and Kelly um, a Mantis. So I said, just take the isopods for free. Absolutely lovely gentleman. And I ended up getting a little Herodula species blue or Malaysian blue praying mantis. Now I haven't had an awful lot of luck with my mantis lately. I was doing very well with most of them. I've had two or three failed breeding projects happen um, and my collection of them has just slowly started to die off and I've been gutted and it's kind of put me off buying them but after being gifted this one it's kind of sparked something back in me to want to keep going because it is absolutely adorable. So that was really lovely of you. Thank you for that. And it was great to meet you. So I actually need to go and check out your video because I'm curious to see what you've got in your mystery box. So yes, you did pick up a mystery box there. So you're going to go and want to check that out. I might have picked up a few actually. But go and check that out. What else did I get? Next gift was from Amy from Pet Rock and Roll. And she got me a mature male Stratagyrus Darlingi. Now I have a female. I'm not sure if she's fully mature yet. I'm pretty sure she probably is. But I've never seen in person an adult female Darlingi yet. So I would kind of try and check that out. I need to check a molt, but she destroyed the last one. So I might wait for her to molt out because this one is a fresh mature male. So that gives me some time. 
but I'll, I'll house it, I'll see how they react to each other with their enclosures near each other. But it will be an awesome little breeding project. So massive thank you to Amy. Also her channel in my description below. Now, what I actually picked up myself for live animals. Now, I only got myself three different things, or sort of three. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, like I said, there was not a lot that I was looking for at that show. There was not a lot there that really caught my eye. There was a few tarantulas that I was actually after, but I could only find them at the show as either mature male or incredibly tiny slings. And that's not what I wanted to purchase at the time. So it's a little bit gutted, but I was gifted 10 pounds from Hayley, one of my subscribers. Um, she actually gifted 10 to both me and Kelly. So if you want to see what Kelly used that money for, go and check out her channel. And I did, I used it to buy some stick insects. So these are the D. Gigante, or Gigantia, however you want to say it, also known as the lime green stick insects. And although these are fairly common, there's something I haven't featured on my channel before. So I'm trying to get back into that side of the hobby so that I could be more educational to you guys. So I thought, you know what, why not get these so that they can grow with us and I can give you some factual information of how to keep them and you can get some at home. And the more species I get, the more eggs I get, the more I can give away. So that will be pretty awesome. So thank you, Hayley. I will name one of these after you. I'm pretty sure the biggest one I've got in here at the minute looks like a female. So I'll be able to tell the difference. So might name that one Hayley. <laughs> She's got a stick insect named after her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, next from Invert Nation, so I picked this up from JP. JP also has a YouTube channel, JP's Pet Nation. So if you want to check him out, again, in the description below. And I actually picked up from JP a Vinegaroon. Now these are the giant ones, the M Gigante. And it's a lot bigger than my current one. It's got a bit of a flatter abdomen, so hopefully this one can take to a feed in a future feed feeding video. My one that I currently have it's been so fat for so long, um, it's not taking to food, I'm not sure if it's in pre mold still need to learn a lot more about the vinegarines and how they progress through life. So yeah, hopefully we can get some awesome footage from this one here. And then last but not least, my final pickup. Very cool. In here, I got a tailless whip scorpion. Now, normally, all I ever see are the D, D, uh, D medius whip scorpions about. I don't like the medius. Now that might sound weird because a lot of them look the same. I just don't like them. I've never had luck with them. I don't enjoy them as much. I've picked them up before. They're not for me. It used to be the diadema that used to be around everywhere and they are communal and they're lovely but they just seem to be off the face of the planet right now. This one is one that I've never kept and I'm really interested and it's the, the daemon variegatus or variegatus. Var Variegatus. I don't know. Something of similar lines anyway. And in fact, I know you've been seeing little clips of what I've picked up in the corners, but let's let's take this one out and actually handle it because this is of a really, really decent size. See if we can get this one to come out. They're very quick. So it's got one antenna that's actually half missing, but that's fine. You'll find a lot of these when you buy them. They'll have missing antenna. But you can see this is a decent size. That antenna, I don't know how well you can see, starts here, the, the full one, comes up, curves right round, and actually ends the tip of my finger. That is pretty impressive. Cool, right? And I think that's it. So only three pickups myself and everything else was gifts. Wait, no, that's not it. I'm completely and utterly lying to you. One second. Oh, go back in. Oh, you don't want to go back in, it's fine. Right. <laughs> You're just gonna keep him there. I also picked up, went hard with Kelly on this 50 pound Portsmouth Tarantula mystery bag. This one will be opened on her channel. Uh, we tried to do a game like we did last time. There was a lot less boxes in it than last time, but they were really, really awesome. 
so make sure to go and check that out on her channel. And then the biggest thing, which I don't know how I could forget, because to me was the best thing, the best pickup that we had, wasn't even a pickup by us, was this box here. Now, this was a mystery box that was gifted, I'm gonna go in a box, it was gifted to me and Kelly by MP Exotics, and there will be a separate video done all about this box as a thank you, that will be on my channel. So, in fact, it might even be the very next video that comes out, we'll have to wait and see. But they put some really awesome gifts in there. Um, I'd love it if you could go and give their channel a quick check out as well, again in the description below, and just see if it's your cup of tea, because those gifts were phenomenal. And why, oh God, you made me jump. <laughs> and why, why we deserve to have gifts so awesome is beyond me, but massive thank you to you guys. Right, I'm gonna go off the camera now while I try and get this thing off me. I'm sure the Harry Potter fans are enjoying this right now. So, thanks for watching guys. If you wanna see what else dwells in the round, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.